Hello, everybody. In this video, I'm going to share with you my personal interests when it comes to the different fields of tech. And these are kind of those areas that you might hear about a lot. Some of you may not have heard about, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and get in today's video. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. So as mentioned, I have five areas of tech that really piqued my interest. I want to share those with you because maybe these are some areas that you might want to explore. The first one here, which is called ITIL. ITIL is actually one of the certifications that I took recently that I failed. And I don't know, I think I was just rushing. It's not a particularly hard certification to get. It's really, if you think about it, it's just like a combination of best practices for any organization who has an IT unit. And these best practices basically help govern the way the organization in terms of IT supports the user, responds to change, responds to like security disruptions, things like that as a pretty like standard approach across the board. So I'm just going to read to you. This is from Wikipedia, the most trusted source on the Internet. <laughs> but it says the information technology infrastructure library is a set of detailed practices for IT activities such as IT service management, IT asset management that focus on aligning IT services with the needs of the business. And I won't go too in depth about it here, but I just want to show you, I'll leave a link to this Wikipedia article. And if I can find a better one, I'll link that below. But it basically started in the UK, made its way internationally, and it's a really respected certification. All right, moving on. The next thing is data science. So data science, it combines the scientific method, math and statistics, specialized programming, advanced analytics, AI, and even storytelling to uncover and explain the business insights buried in data. So you're like a detective, you're looking at data and you want to understand what is happening in the organization. Is an approach that we're using working? Is it not working? What are some new insights we're gleaning? So it's pretty, pretty much like that. Think about a big Excel sheet, but a little bit more complex and think about relationships between one set of data and another and trying to understand how that makes sense and how you can determine the best next actions for an organization or a, a strategy going forward. All right. The next thing is cybersecurity. Now, this is something that we've all heard of. We've seen movies where people are like doing a matrix through like a server room, trying to get like access to another company stuff. This cybersecurity espionage, James Bond like stuff. And it's uh, really interesting. So it says here that cybersecurity is the art of protecting networks, devices, and data from unauthorized access or criminal use and the practice of ensuring confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information. So this can be anything from public records to credit card data, Whatever it is, a cybersecurity is designed to protect against any threats and anything that can alter information or steal it, whatever the case may be, that's the focus. And this is a really hot, trendy career path. There's so many open positions for people to get into. Moving on, let's talk about the cloud way up there. So cloud technology is really interesting to me. So when I heard there was a cloud, I really thought there was a cloud of information somewhere like a satellite, but actually cloud can be any storage that's just not on site. So let's actually read the definition. So I'm not butchering anything or misleading you. It says here, cloud computing is delivery of various internet services. Such tools include data storage, servers, database applications, networks. Cloud-based storage allows you to save files on a central network rather than on a proprietary local. And when I say local, just a physical something in your hand, like a USB stick or a CD-ROM or something like this. You don't have to store it there. You can store it in, in a central location somewhere else. So long as an electronic device has access to the internet, the data and the software programs are available for use. And in terms of cloud technology, just in general, it says cloud computing technology is an on-demand technology where users utilize the IT resource over the internet platform and work on a pay per use mechanism instead of the previous subscription based technology. Now, the fifth area of interest for me 
is something that's been really hot lately. A lot of people have been losing money in like cryptocurrency and that kind of stuff. More than just the crypto tokens and Bitcoin, there's this concept of fintech. And fintech is like the short for financial technology. And it says fintech is a portmanteau, I guess is how you pronounce it, of financial technology. It's the application of new technological advancements to products and services in the financial industry. And so this is a guy that kind of walks you through what it is and how it's being used and has some examples and things like that. But in short, fintech is really cool. I am really interested. There's a company called XRP that is doing some things or trying to make some changes with the centralized banking environment. And I don't know, I find it really cool. I'm just trying to learn about it because I don't know. I think that as I get older, finance is more important to me in terms of protecting assets and learning how to make money. And so any changes into that environment are going to directly affect me and the future. So just something good to learn about and good to explore. So <clears throat> that in a nutshell is really my my list of interests. I just want to share those with you because you may or may not be aware of these different segments. And trust me, there are so many things in between that I have not even touched on because there's just so much to get into. And I'm personally working to not be distracted by all these different trends. But each of the things I mentioned, they play on each other. You use databases to store all kinds of financial records, fintech, a lot of the programs are hosted in the cloud, cryptocurrency, it literally is short for cryptography currency or cryptographic currency. And cryptographs are just basically these hard to break chains of like numbers and, and calculations that make it almost impossible to hack. And so that's cybersecurity. And then really, you're nothing without the business, right? If I don't have a product for you to protect, or for you to host in the cloud, or for you to pay for, you don't really have anything. And that's where ITIL comes in. So just understanding what it is your interests are and where you want to start, I think is a good way to stay focused. You don't be like me where you're four years in a role and you're just now getting back to square one. It's good to take your time, think about what it is you're interested in, and see that if you do have multiple other interests, which a lot of people in IT do, then you can see how they connect. So that way you can share a love of a more generalist approach. You're not too laser focused on one area and you're getting that nice jack of all trades approach to IT. So at any rate, that's my video today. I didn't want to make it too long. I want to expose you to some tech if you weren't familiar with it. And uh, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good day. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud.